Well, hello, strangers. I know that I have been gone and not keeping up with my vlogs. I know. I apologize. I had a crazy week, but starting right now, we're going to be back on track. So I'm posting this. It's actually Sunday right now. I'm posting this first. I'm just going to give a little explanation of the footage I'm about to show because I have kind of a random assortment. So first, part one is going to be some footage I took Thursday night of uh, some of the noise that happened in my house when my 19-year-old roommate decided to throw a party with her friends on a Thursday night. Um, just happened to be the Thursday night that I planned to go to bed way early in order to wake up at 4 a.m. in order to watch the royal wedding. So I was not a happy camper, and neither was Rory, but that's part one. If, if any of it turns out to be loud enough, um, I haven't actually watched the footage yet, so I'm not quite sure if my camera caught it or not. If not, then uh, I'm just talking for no reason. Part two is going to be Friday afternoon, my way home from work, reflecting on the wedding, and I think I talked about Jeremy and Rory coming, or Jeremy coming, Rory was already here. So uh, part two, uh, Friday afternoon. Part three is going to be the footage that I've taken of Rory and Jeremy um, since they're busy this weekend. Um, I have a little bit of that. And uh, part four is going to be anything else that I'm not thinking of right now. So, yeah, we had another great weekend. Jeremy came to visit. I'm not going to talk about that much now. I'll talk about it more tomorrow because I think this is going to get long. So, I know I've been bad about vlogging last week, but now I have all afternoon to catch up with my stuff today and going to edit this. So starting tomorrow, we'll be back to daily vlogs and whatever I post Monday night will be of Monday, like normal. So I will stop talking now, make sure this doesn't get too long, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Girly. They're noisy, I know. They never learned about inside voices, did they, Rory? I have been to work, spent my whole day at work, managed to wake up on time, didn't have any issues going back to sleep after watching the wedding. So now I just went to Walmart and picked up a bunch of stuff because Jeremy decided to just drive all the way here this weekend instead of meeting up. But he didn't want to have to go home after work first because that would have added like an hour and a half of travel time thanks to Denver traffic. So he's coming straight here from work, which meant he doesn't have any sort of toiletries, clothes, anything. So I just went to Walmart and got him a couple t-shirts and toothbrush and that type of stuff that you need. And now he's on his way. So it'll be a fun weekend after all because Jeremy's coming to visit. And uh, yeah, so tonight I'm definitely going to be watching some highlights of the wedding, even though I've been kind of doing that all day um, at work. Um, but I'm actually going to watch whatever specials are on TV and get to see the rest of the stuff that I slept through. So anyway, uh, did you guys watch the wedding? Were you interested? Uh, for me, I just, I, my mom always talked about Diana's wedding, and she always talked about getting up early to watch it. And so I just, I wanted to do it myself, and so that someday I could tell my daughter about when I watched Kate and William get married. So, it was, it was fun to watch. And her dress was absolutely gorgeous. I loved that, I think they, I think I had the same waistline, it's the natural waistline. Of course, it looked a lot better on her, because she weighs like 110 pounds. But it was absolutely gorgeous. I thought she picked a great dress. And I saw a clip of the dress she's wearing to the party, but they only showed waist up. So I don't know what the bottom looked like. I'm intrigued to see what the bottom looked like. So, very, very pretty dress. Switching gears entirely away from the royal wedding. Um, how about those tornadoes that just went, tore through the southern US? I mean, it's just ridiculous ridiculous amount of devastation from a tornado and people wonder why I'm afraid of tornadoes that's exactly why I have gone through many many hurricanes growing up in Florida tropical storms all of that I went through 
Harrogate Charlie almost directly because it hit our town second after it made landfall and that was like a category four hurricane. So it was, it was not fun. It's not an experience I would wish to repeat ever. Uh, it wasn't supposed to come to our town so we really weren't prepared. It was supposed to go up to Tampa and it made a last minute turn and headed towards Arcadia. So definitely not an experience I ever want to go through again, but I lived through it. But at least the hurricane, we had a little bit of warning. You know, we knew there was a hurricane out there. Uh, we had a couple hours to get some water in the tubs and get prepared, sort of. But with the tornado, it's such an extreme amount of wind and force, wind and force in a very concentrated area that the devastation was just absolute and ridiculous. So my heart goes out to all of those that are in Alabama, Mississippi, anywhere that had the crazy tornadoes. And I'm glad that everyone I know in those areas, they're all fine. So I do have quite a few people in Alabama somehow. So everyone's fine that I know and that I'm happy to report, but it's it's gonna be a mess. We're playing fetch. Take a ball. Drop it. Leave it. Good girl. You ready? You ready? Go get it. Hi, puppies. Good girl. Drop it. Leave it. Good girl. Hey, Abby. Hey, Beebs. Hey, girl. So, no joke, that sighting came off our house today. Let's see for me. I'm trying to find out how windy it is. Yes, we've had uh, winds up to 60 miles per hour today. Um, I already picked up one piece of the sighting that was by my car. As you can tell and can probably hear, it's really windy trying to cover the mic so you don't get wind blasted, but that's pretty crazy. That is busy now. See that is busy. That is busy. And this is 60 miles, 60 miles per hour. Can you imagine like 205 that was part of the tornado? Crazy. That is just cuteness. Here you go, girly. She's leading, she's going up the stairs without you. <laughs> she's like sitting at the bottom of the stairs waiting on you. Hey, come on. Okay, All right, I just got home. And it feels so incredibly lonely now that Rory's gone.